and this right here would be a tip from the tool department this bolt right here this uh, uh screw the screw slot in the top of it right there it's really wide and it's really long someone left a comment and i do appreciate it and leave comments at will they wanted to know how did i get this bolt out of this governor arm sometimes sometimes you uh sometimes you can't do it to make things easy is this this tool right here it's a socket that's got that piece of metal done already put in yonder and i think this right here might work on something on a briggs and strat this happens to be a snap on it don't have to be but the one i use you can see the modifications to it right there and what i did I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you that in particular. You need to know that. That's a good deal. It's one of these tools right here, modified. All, all I did is grinded it off on the side right there, straight and neat. No, no need to get out any measuring utensils. Just file it off real neat and clean. Use the, the term shadow line. Use a shadow line to your advantage in the machine shop brought that to mind when you buy this thing right here now that one right there is pretty well flat but the one that i'm using here it uh it was a little bit oval shaped just a small amount a few thousands so i filed it flat all the way across and when you've got that in the vise and you're looking at it the way in the sunlight the way the light shines on it you can actually tell if you're filing at a bevel because the shadow line on that end will be longer than it is over here. The main objective is to make that shadow line go away evenly all the way across, all the way to the end. Re just remember that it will be on the test. Shadow line. Look it up. Study about it. Use it in your daily life. That answers that question. And and I'm going to I'm going to uh, th this is just thoughts. It was uh, it was presented to me as an original side exhaust Model 92. That's what it was. That was that was the description, and there was a story behind it. So I'm going to assume that one of the tests that I did upon a, a getting it to my possession is I looked up inside of it there to see if it might be a reproduction. That that that's what it was. That was the question, and it's already been observed by another Maytag person. It's already been discussed once, and so I'm going to put it out there and leave it for comments. Would you think this would be original? It's it's not a reproduction because I done already scraped on it, and who I got it from, they painted it. And just lucky, just lucky me that they didn't clean the part very good. So when I scraped on it, the paint just comes right off yonder. It's of no, it's of no value whatsoever. It, I'm kind of glad that it happened this way because you can see that right there. There is no indication whatsoever that that is a reproduction. It's, uh, it's in good condition. It actually don't look like it's ever been used other than the fact that if I look down inside of the hole right there with a flashlight, it has been on an engine. It had exhaust build up in it, carbon, quite a bit. <laughs> but anyways, I got this thing, and I'm just going to leave it out there for comments. What I'm going to do, the way you use this tool right here, is once you get this thing modified, it's a, it's a perfect. When you put it in that slot right there, it's as good as you're going to get. You can't get you cannot get no better than that right there. And this particular one right here, I'm going to take it up on myself to tell the truth. Because when I painted this thing right here, I just, while I was painting something, I just actually, well, I meant to do it, to paint that. But I filled up the groove in there. So take the time to take a sharp instrument of some type and, and, and clean that groove out in there because you that's not milled very deep and you really do need all of the uh, metal that you can get because most of the time whoever owned this before you put a screwdriver in there and they've already done already have ruined it so if you can save it but any, anyways, these things right here will be in them flywheels so tight that sometimes it's better just to chisel this off, get this off, put a pair of clamps on it, get it out of there, drill it out, do what you got to do. Just don't be fooling around with it. Just get it out of there because you can buy you one of these right here on the Internet. They're available. 
if you don't have a couple, you know, get them on order. We, we're going, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in the flywheel. 